Okay, what I have here is some Mac 3 open on my VirtualBox Windows XP. And I added a button, MPG mode, which will toggle between page 50 and page 1 of the screen set, uh, regular screen set, uh, that doesn't have this button. So if I push the button, then it brings out the MPG. Uh, why? It's because uh, I had a, a viewer that asked me uh, the question and uh, if it was possible to somehow bring out the MPG mode without using the keyboard if he's got a, a touchscreen monitor that he wants to use and he doesn't want to you know have the monitor also bringing out the the MPG so I just decided to do a quick video here, kind of tutorial, uh, how you can do this and add it to your screen set on Mac 3. And to do that, you just have to open the Mac, Mac uh, editor and open up the your regular set that you have. And then you can add with this uh, window here, add a button once you do that it, it adds the the little button right here and you can change the label as whatever you want to put on it but the important thing here is that the function you have to select it double clicking on it and let's see oh I had to select the button first there you go you have to select the function and in this case is toggle visibility of screen 50 and just have to find it I think it's uh, towards the end of it toggle visibility here you go on screen 50 and select that function and in that will bring out the page 50 mpg mode onto it so once you have it created and labeled then you come here and save your set or save the file as uh, whatever the name you want to give it in this case I gave it the name uh, pendant because of the mpg pendant and save it right and once you have that then you can go back to uh, your let me see then you can back to your uh, Mac 3 uh, screen and in view you load the screens and you find it here uh, whatever set you already uh, saved uh, the name onto it right so once you have it then it'll be ready to be used now uh, if you have a touch screen it's, it's nice to have big buttons on it and using the Mac, Mac screen editor I'm using in this case version 1.72 a and you can just find it uh, on Google and download it and then you can start modifying your buttons uh, or whatever you want to put on them if you watch some of my previous videos uh, you know there's uh, one video that I modify all the buttons for a uh, so controls right uh, the table saw or cabinet saw controls and It's kind of very easy to do once you get the hang of it and uh, There's nothing to it. I think But anyway, uh, yeah This was just kind of a quick tutorial and um, I hope it's helpful for you and You can implement it in your machine All right, see you next time Thanks for watching.